Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We've got a bunch of stuff to go over with you today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about some Division news, Destiny, Sega, Doom, No Man's Sky, Final Fantasy, I'm sorry, Dark Souls 3, and all that kind of awesome stuff. My name is Will, this is Mr. Nine, Yo. who is extremely motivated today. Um, uh, I'm not feeling it today, I'm <laughs> getting going. feeling good, I didn't sleep. Sorry, uh, and right Mr. Mr. You. James, we've got enough enthusiasm In for him. In sleep deprivation. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. All right, so guys, let's talk about some stuff. We'll start off with uh, Sega. Sega, um, I guess, finalized a contract with Atlas to basically produce, or I'm sorry, publish all future Atlas games. Hmm. Now, is that strictly for the Americas, or is that Japan and America as well? I think both. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Alice, so, Alice always producing some awesome JRPGs. They, they so. are known for yeah. just Demon that. Souls. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've got a they've got a good track record. Arc the Lad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there, there's Twitter. a long list. They've yeah. got a, a long list Alice of. Uh, um, Alice knows what the Japanese RPG scene, scene the, is all about. Yeah. Citizen Earth. Citizens of Earth. Citizens of Earth. <laughs> yeah. And what to give the American public. Yeah. Uh. So, no, I mean, so, I mean, that's interesting. I, mm -hmm. I just, you know, Sega's still kind of out there doing stuff. Obviously, they produced some games. Alien Isolation I was supposed to be. I think they'll get better recognition now that Sega's doing it. Yeah. Because if you, if you just go up to regular casual gamers and say, hey, Atlas produced that, they're like, who? Mm -hmm. Casual gamers, yeah, they're, they're not. If you go up to them and say, "Oh yeah, Sega produced it," they'll be like, "Oh, Sega produced it." Yeah, mm -hmm. I, am I, Sega. I think it's a good move for them because it's going to get them uh, it become more of a household name now. Sure. Sonic did so. this. Yeah. <laughs> be awesome. Well, they gave us Demon Souls too. That would be pretty awesome. I'd be happy. I'd be pretty happy too. I doubt it though. Doubt it as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. I think that you know most people would you know bump up their sales just by seeing that Sega name on there. But I mean, Atlas again, they've done a good job of building their own brand. But oh yeah, Atlas fan, James. Oh yeah, yeah. Big time. yeah. All right, uh, the division on April twelfth is getting its first free new in-game content. They're basically getting an in-game, a new in-game raid. Of sorts, mm. and a new loot trading. Mm. Oh, that's cool. They they I don't needed play that those division. So yeah. I don't know anything about it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had a guy last night. He was just like, he's like, hey man, aren't you you know pretty high rank in the division? I was like, if thirteen is high rank to you, he goes, oh. I was like, yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> but I mean, any MMO kind of game, you need a trading system. I feel. Oh, like, absolutely. Like it just it sucks. It's it's a pain to like get a weapon that you know would be good for your friend, or to be someone like it's fun to do hand me downs in yeah, games sure. like that, yeah. so. or even stuff that's like class specific mm -hmm. that exactly. you don't have set up for your character, so you can pass it off to your friend yep. who is like desperately looking for something awesome yeah. and can't find anything. He keeps getting stuff for other classes. I just feel so. pained when I'm like getting upgraded gear and I know all my old stuff is better than what my friend has and I'm just sitting here having to jump yeah, it all. Yeah, it's like, hey man, I can get that for you. It's just like, I can just <laughs> imagine my character staring at him while like I'm junking my parts, just like, I'm just pouring it down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> You like these blues, baby? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a cool feature. I think that's a that's really neat. Yeah, needed. Uh, I mean, yeah. Trading is definitely a, a, a must-have mm -hmm. for MMO-style games. As far as the in-game raid, I didn't know there was, like, such a thing, unless I just read that it's article. It's probably the level 30 stuff. Yeah? Like, mm -hmm. you have to be level 30 in order to do it. And at the end, there's going to be an extraction point where two other people come out of the raid. I'm just guessing. <laughs> just blow you up. Who yeah. They camp yeah. out at the yeah. extraction point. Yeah, exactly. Just fire That's missile launchers while you're... I will probably never play the game, so I don't really... Yeah, it's a good game. Like a I mean, I, b I believe it's a good game. Yeah, they, it's, they didn't do a bad job with it. I mean, I think, like with Destiny, when Destiny first came out, um, a lot of people... Yeah, got not bored. only did they get bored, but I think they just didn't fully deliver on the idea and here comes some patches some updates and then the taken king fixed a lot of that and now people are back on board that took over a year for that to come out it took a while yeah so maybe that's what they're going for the division is the long term we'll see i mean ubisoft has likes to do things in three so you'll see uh probably another installment Threes. what number of assassin's creed are we on like well seven? i mean they do like they like their but sequels, they only named one three they like and their four. yeah <laughs> they like their franchise <laughs> Thanks, after that they just went with like <laughs> well no, they went to four 
Black Black Flag is Assassin's Creed 4. Right. Oh, do they really call it that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen it like labeled as that. I'm just yeah. Black Flag. Uh, speaking of Destiny, it. you'll be getting some emotes. Um, new emotes based off of Dark Souls, Seinfeld, and Shia LaBeouf. Oh man, you're gonna. Is it to just do it? Yeah, that's totally I will, get, I will so get back into the, Destiny if it's just do it and praise the sun. Yep, yeah. that's exactly because what it is. that is totally worth my yeah. nickel and a cent, whatever it cost me to you get. You said today, yesterday, just do it. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's the greatest meme in the world. Uh, Seinfeld's got to be Kramer, right? I mean, he, he, you know, he comes in like he comes in the door and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, um, there was another thing. Uh, with Going back to the division really quick, I know yeah. that um, the, the raids and everything, I just, is, I don't, is there such a thing in there now? I was just curious because I, I haven't gotten that far. The, there's something they're calling incursions, and I think that might be what the raids are. I don't know what else you would. That's the dark zone stuff, right? I have no idea. I've yeah. just heard like incursions thrown on a lot, and incursions are being brought to the game, and I thought that might be their the name they're putting on raids. I could be wrong. I have no idea. Yeah. Cool. Well, right. there you go. That, anyway, that'll be coming April 12th to the division, so same look out for that. Dark Souls 3. Uh, same, that's right. Same day as Dark Souls 3. Um, I'll be and playing again, the Battleborn beta. You'll be getting the Destiny emotes uh, for Dark Souls, Seinfeld, and Shio LaBeouf. Um, and is Sega is pa publishing all of Atlas's games. When we get back, we're going to be talking about the Doom beta, which Nine has played, and some No Man's Sky stuff right when we get back. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we were just talking about uh, the division, some Destiny emotes on April 12th. Um, actually, the divisions on April 12th, Destiny emotes, I don't know when, and then uh, the Sega stuff, uh, Publishing Atlas, there's that. Now we're talking about the Doom beta, uh, so we'll get into this. By the way, you're watching, listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will, this is James, Yo. this is Nine. Yo. The Doom beta, Nine, you play this, you, you streamed it on the Twitch. For this. How did it go? <laughs> um, it's, it's good, I like it. Um, they only had two maps and two modes. They had Team Deathmatch, obviously, because that's what everybody That's what you're there for, play. yeah. And then Warpath, which if you've ever played Team Fortress, is gonna feel very familiar. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, the, you can customize your character. I don't know what they're calling them, soldiers, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they got a lot of really cool customization options. You can even customize the colors of your guns and stuff too, cool. with patterns and paints and different stuff. That seems stuff. to be a, a gun customization is the thing right now. Yeah. Um, to the point, I have a whole game that's dedicated strictly to. Gun Are you, do you care much about that kind of stuff? Aesthetics, yes. Do yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. Heavy. I, I don't yeah. care so much about the color of my weapons as much as I do about like bayonets. Scopes and grips. I'm gonna agree with that. I, I don't, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I'm ridiculous. I, yeah, yeah. And like, I agree with that. Yeah, when I, when I'm playing like, yeah, when, I, when I'm playing like, uh, move is any kind of competitive thing where I can change my skin. Like at the last minute, if I notice everyone, and they always do it on accident. I don't. If I notice everybody on my team has like a blue skin at the time, I'm just like, oh, I gotta buy a blue skin right now. <laughs> we gotta roll out here. You gotta if you're gonna win, win blue style. team on the red team side. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a, I, I, I guess I'm kind of that way with green. I mean, green, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, so did it feel like a, it, a Doom game or? It's a little bit slower than what I remember Doom being. It's it's faster than Doom Three, but still slower than like classic Doom. And how is it compared to like other games though, on the market? It, it feels like Halo Three multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Which, if anybody knows, Halo 3 was the multiplayer experience for Halo. Some Halo fans will disagree. Most will Some, agree. But <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of people think 2 is the best. Yeah. I think 2 yeah. is terrible, but that's just me. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Warpath was an interesting mode because, like I said, if you've ever played Team Fortress, it'll feel very familiar. You don't just capture the point and then it changes position. It's constantly on a moving track. Not throughout cool. the map. So in order to keep it, you have to fight inside of it and keep moving with it. You don't just stand still and fight one little area. The whole thing is moving much like a Team Fortress um, 
mode, which you have the bomb going down the train tracks, and you've got to keep the train, the, depending on what side you're playing, you keep the train tracks moving, and you eventually blow up the enemy base. It's that very similar to that in the way it's executed. Cool. Are there any classes or abilities or like flavors everybody, to your customization? In the beta, everybody got the same three basic loadouts, and then you could unlock yeah. three custom loadouts. I'm sure loadouts. they'll reduce cool. like the uh, amount of options that you have in the beta just to kind of test um, things and yeah. whatnot. But, but you, you, I unlocked all three custom loadouts, and I had three different setups. Some guns were interesting. Some guns I couldn't figure out, because each gun has a primary fire and a secondary fire. Cool. So what, what size matches were there? Six on six. Six on six. Yeah. It, it wasn't very big. But overall, fun factor? Overall, I, lo I loved it. I, yeah. I could see myself playing it when it comes out. Absolutely. Yeah. Very cool. You so, can't give gamers everything in a beta, though, because like, no, we're, we're, no. we're notorious we for beating things in a few hours. Right. So if you gave them everything, you'd just be like, you know, how'd you like the you know your first impressions of the game? First impressions, I'm done. <laughs> I've yeah, already beat it. You know, it's interesting. We'll come back to that because, um, you know, we talked about giving too much to the player, possibly ruining the game for some people. Yeah. Some people thinking that this is all that they're getting. When mm -hmm. it's not, there's more to offer in the actual game mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. But So, yeah, Doom, uh, I can't remember the release date on that. Did they announce that? May 13th. May 13th, mm -hmm. so that's yeah. right around the corner. God, yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. <laughs> Check that out. Just after Captain America Civil War hits theaters. Oof. Yeah. Awesome. I'm stoked. That's going to be awesome. We're excited. <laughs> That's going to be an awesome movie. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, No Man's Sky, this this little game right here. Oh, there's, there's my there's my <laughs> We've been hiding it from you. It's Didn't even realize no he covered his own drink up. No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky, yeah. Um, I, I, I think we're all, safe to say, extremely excited for this game. And um, I'm just a smidge excited for this game. I, I, I just nah. there, there's it's so Kidding. intriguing to, to see how it delivers this the scale and what you can do, and I just hope it's awesome. Anyway, um, Sean Murray, the uh, creator, I guess, of No Man's Sky, creator and founder of Hello Games, as a as a kind of cruel, I guess, uh, not cruel. I was the meanest April Fool's joke <laughs> I saw. All but a nice commentary on the industry. Yeah. yeah, so he comes exactly. out and says that, by the way, after some long hours and some hard coding that we've been able to uh, implement microtransactions into No Man's Sky. Yeah. And it a lot of people kind of... <laughs> April Fool's joke ever, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And I know you're a fan of microtransactions I already. I despise microtransactions. <laughs> Can you imagine microtransactions in No Man's Sky? I was really into, pa I was into playing for planets, you know? <laughs> Well, there's already a season pass for Dark Souls 3. That's the well, which that's, is that's cool. Different. A first for the entire yeah. franchise. Yeah. So but they're going to release had, a lot of Bloodborne DLC. Bloodborne did not have a season pass. Because they only they had one had DLC. DLC. They had and they DLC. didn't even plan on doing that unless there was right. a demand, which there was. It's now they're and it's awesome. Yeah. Now <laughs> they're actually planning on doing a three pack set for Dark Souls 3. Do you think yeah. that's because of the success of Bloodborne's DLC? I think it's because it's the final Game. entry. Sure. And they're milking it for all it's worth. Sure. I would. <laughs> so, I'm so I'm glad from and we're gonna buy it. I mean, right. after this, because Namco Bandai, as far as I'm concerned, has made this franchise worse. But I there's such like a Namco. huge following of that those games. It's it's, it's insane. But yeah, now um, there wasn't when Demon Souls and Dark Souls One came out. Well, Demon Souls is not a Dark Souls game. It's still a Souls it's game. A, it's still a Souls game. Like, if we didn't uh, have Demon elitist. Souls, we never would have had Gosh. Dark Souls. All right, uh, where were you guys? We'll talk where more about Dark guys? Souls. Trust me, I know the history of this. Wagon. We'll talk about Dark Souls right after this. Keep it here. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Um, we just got done talking about the Doom beta, Doom, and uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, but now we're going to be talking about some Dark Souls 3 stuff, just because that's what we were talking about before we left you last. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you're watching After and listening to Press Start TV. <laughs> My name's Will. That's James. Oh, hey. This is Nine. Howdy. Guys, uh, Dark Souls 3. So Dark Souls 3 is right around the corner, literally um, right around the corner. Literally. Yeah, it's waiting for us. Two days away. Are you going to buy like this a, title, James? Like a skeleton to throw me from a bridge. Uh, yeah. Is it going to pull you away from all of your smite and everything else? Well, Battleborn will already be doing that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to 
gonna be like, I, it's cool though. It works with my ADD anyway. Yeah. You know? I'll have like that downloaded to my console, and then I'll have Dark Souls, and I'll just be like switching back and forth. And yeah, I'll definitely pick it up. And and Dark Souls Three um, has the co-op. Feature. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so. It improved from Bloodborne. It's kind of stuff. a mix between Dark Souls co-op and Bloodborne co-op. Yeah. So what I mean by that is, if you play the game entirely by yourself, you'll never get invaded unless you choose to be invaded. Yeah. If you do co-op, that's when you're guaranteed to get invaded with Dark Souls Three. So it's a nice blend of classic Dark Souls. Usually when that happens, it ends up Bloodborne. being a two-on-one. It worked anyway, really well so. for Bloodborne the way mm -hmm. they did it, so yeah. I'll be interested to see exactly how they pull it off. Yeah, you could create your own like uh, rooms Lobby, or whatever. Basically, yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, and it's seamless too because you don't just have to sit in a matchmaking menu or anything right. like that. You just set it up, ring that bell. And ring that bell. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, it was really cool when you're at a boss and all of a sudden just somebody, a, a buddy shows up and then now you're both like kind of fighting. It was yeah. just, and some, sometimes I was like, no, go away. I want to do this by myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have a habit of, I will, when I, when I know I'm coming up to a boss fight, I will co-op somebody else's boss and get practice in so Me too. I know how the boss works. I do works. the exact same thing. That way I don't have to worry about getting mad about losing three million souls that I might have in my bank. And then uh, if I win, and then if I win, I get some extra insight. Right. And then if I need to summon somebody, boom, it's on. Exactly. Yeah. So we're once again we're talking about Dark Souls Three. Uh, this game's going to be amazing. I mean, uh, a, a history. Um, a storied success, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 and 2, Bloodborne, and now Dark Souls 3, FromSoft just absolutely kills it with this game. And um, it's sad at the same time, because it's the last one. It's the last mm -hmm. one, as far as we know, anyway. But, uh, it's the last Souls game. Yeah. And that's the thing, is I'm sure they'll keep on with, like, I guess the same vein of games, like, you know, Bloodborne and all that, just do different thematical approaches. That's what I would like to see, sure. if that's the case. Well, the re one of the things I want to talk about with this game is, um, just before we started, we talked about there's a, somebody supposedly did a speed run of the game and blah, 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 but there's so many trailers and um, streams, uh, mm -hmm. people streaming the demo and just people doing that. Is it possible to release too much content before the game comes out that it ruins the game. Namco, it is, but it's up to the viewer's discretion, pretty much. You have to go look for it. Yeah. But still, well, I mean... Namco actually like, said, okay, no more new content <laughs> yeah. to the streamers. They're like, look, we gave you a point, no more new content until the 11th, the day before it comes out. I mean, it, it, it's a point to where, is it promotional for the game, for the publisher, or is it ruining the experience for some of these gamers, so much so that they're like, ah, I've seen enough. If you're watching a streamer play it, that that is your choice. You, you're choosing to get that information so before you're, the if, game comes out. If you're masochistic enough Me, to just ruin it for yourself, then my that's favorite you. streamer, uh, Lobos. Yeah, he is not even going to stream the game until just before it comes out. Cool. That's the so, way to do it, I think. He's already played through it, granted. And right. He's been working on his speed run strategies and stuff, but he said he wouldn't stream it until the game's like on the brisk brink of coming out. I would, I would be afraid for them, for people on the outside looking in, people that aren't familiar with Souls games and their intricate nature. Right. Uh, but someone looking at that headline and being like, "You beat that game in two hours. That's enough content. I'm not spending my money on that." When in reality, Dark Souls, that's kind of a really cool it's thing a about it. It's a 60-hour game for your regular find it, everything and do it. Kind there's of guy. so much. Options. But I see the, the, like that's there's the, that's the, the point, optional though. stuff in the game yeah. to where like you can avoid most everything in a Souls game almost because it's just main bosses yep. and finish as quickly as possible. That's well, your style. I, I was reading a, a, a non-spoiler questionnaire that somebody who got the game early mm -hmm. beat it and was like, look, I'll answer questions spoiler free for people who want more information about the game. And everybody was like, "Is you know what? how long did it take you to get through it? He said, I looked around every nook and cranny and it took me 50 hours and I know I missed a ton of stuff. Yeah. Sure. He found two hidden areas and still missed stuff. That's the beauty of these so games. I mean, it's, it's like I'm an you, if you want to do yeah. it, you definitely can because there's right. enough content there. But there's also the way to go about. Well, there's doing different it. archetypes of gamers, you know. Yeah. That's been from the are yeah. all about how quickly can I get through this game. People that want to beat I, it, I, people that want to explore. It's more of a question for for Namco complete, uh, complete. or the publisher or whoever it is in that case, because like you said, if 
if I'm a buyer, mm -hmm. maybe I maybe you lose some sales because somebody reads that headline and it's only a two hour game. They're thinking, well, yeah. it this is a two hour game. This is a two hour game for a professional who Skyrim was beaten in like 20 minutes. And again, because Skyrim awesome. follows <laughs> Be Bethesda follows that same principle of just like do what you want. If you want to just run straight through the game, the main storyline, you can do that, and yeah. the, the game won't outscale you or anything. But if you want to explore everything like I do and forget that the main storyline even exists, well, like, again, that's that's Bethesda one game. that's one part of it. I just meant like content. I mean, yeah, yeah. So depending on what the headline is, depending on how many how much content's out there for people. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're watching too many trailers or streams or whatever it's just like oh, I've seen enough of this game and then big fans of the series um, you know how far do you take it like do you I, watch I enough I avoid as much as I can like I read through the spoiler free questionnaire just because I wanted I love to know that. what kind of yeah. content not the not so much the content but what type of content was there yeah. there's two hidden areas that this guy found that are similar to the first hidden area in Dark Souls 1 well that's awesome I mean, I'm so stoked to know that that's there yeah. and not know what it is. We could go on and on about this stuff. Oh, I could go on for another <laughs> week about this. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Uh, check us out at PressStartTV.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.